so we're basically going to go ahead and continue my sanctuary build now that I have uh, my weapon racks as you saw my outfits my power armor not much else I can do up here except put lights don't see anything missing to be honest pretty good setup let's go ahead and uh, see if I left anything on the third real quick And this is just here for my clothing. So that's going to be the master bedroom. It's planning to put like a living room here or something like that. Some kind of lounge or something. And down here is going to be like a kitchen. Forgot I have all this crap. Unfortunately. Oh, what the hell? He fell down. I mean, maybe I'll just replace them all back up here. It's not too big of a problem. Inspect outside, make sure everything's all good. Testing my system, making sure everything is all good. <clears throat> Sucks you can't get rid of these bushes. I wouldn't mind like just using one motor for all this stuff. Cause I definitely could have. Considering that is there and they're right behind this damn thing. This is where a dog meat should be, but he's like stuck in the yard where I used to live. Speaking of my old house, we're going to do a quick check and see if I left anything there. Or if I'm actually moved out, not 100% sure. Oh my god, I hate this. Let me see if I can move this guy's body. It's just stuck here in the street. Since I defeated the Brotherhood of Steel. I accidentally sent this dude here and now his body is literally just sitting in the damn street. It's like, can I put like a bed on top of him or something? Let's we'll cover him up. Put like a mattress on him. <laughs> He's just taking a nap, guys. That'd be hilarious if it actually places this. Oh, he must be tired. <laughs> just like leave that there. <laughs> See if I can like move it at all. A little bit more under him. Seems like it just starts raising up with the curb, which is definitely not what I want. Oh, what the hell, Piper? Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> he doesn't like the mattress. There he goes. Well, it sucks I can't do anything to him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. It's been sitting there for like years of fallout time probably or something just marinating in the dirty street. Seemed delicious, I ate it. Let's get back down task. I mean, the hell are these signs? I never even noticed these are here. Get more sugar bombs than Nuka Cola. Bread, cranberry juice. Whatever that says. Oh no, the HVAC not Working again? Chucky's clams? What the hell? Alrighty, so I'm pretty sure I moved out of here. I may be kind enough to leave them some lights. I emptied these out because I couldn't move them. Uh, I guess I'll just leave that. I mean, it has no purpose coming with me. Uh, let's 
get to work. I figure let's go work on the master bedroom. This is the nicest one because it just seems like it's the best quality. This one over here just looks like a mattress. This one actually looks like it has sheets and stuff. Go for this bed. I wonder if I can place them like so close to together that they look like one big bed. Got the double bed. Oh, what the hell? I'm trying to do this. Yeah! So, let's see, you got the beds. Since we got them, we might as well just sleep so I can have some daylight. So, much nicer day upon us in the Commonwealth. You can actually see my lake, kinda. The trees are kind of annoying, but I'll take the view. Go ahead and work on my bedroom now. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. I guess I'll do a uh, lighting for the whole building once I'm done with the bedroom. Not too sure what the hell I'm gonna do with it. I got beds. I mean, turn these around so we can actually see what they look like. Seems like they have a limited. That's a nice chair though. Uh. I'm gonna keep looking. Let's kind of see everything they got available to me. Definitely gonna make a good looking kitchen with this stuff. Some pretty modern stuff. That's how you do it. Everyone gets a foot rest. <laughs> Most pointless setup in the bedroom ever. I don't think they have any storage units to kind of like match the bedroom. I'm trying to minimize uh, blocking my windows. And I kind of want it to actually look like storing clothes. That's why I picked that what you see in the background. I mean, this is a dresser, but it's so big it takes up so much space. Kind of does look better than the other one, though. So does this. Uh, just gonna put them both down, then I can decide. But this looks like shit. Didn't want to have to do this, but whatever. I'm gonna take it all out so we can get rid of it, so it doesn't just fall over the damn floor. So here's the elevator. You're gonna to want to come off the elevator. We don't want to block the door, so the bed over here is a bad position. Uh, I'll just kind of put the bed back there against the middle wall or something. Somewhere like right here may work. I'm trying to do my best to actually <coughs> make it even. As you can see, I'm trying to get it like right as close as possible. 
Come on. Uh, did a little bit too much over moving like this much. Trying to make it look like they're all one. Because they don't apparently have like king size beds in Fallout. If I could like get my controller to be that much more sensitive, it'd be great. But just like, not, not oh my god. I think I got it. See, it's sticking over the wood there, sticking over the wood. Not really. I'm trying to make it even. I don't think I'll ever get it at this rate. like right on the line. Alright, this would be a lot easier if I just do this. So I can actually move it to where I need it to be. Come on. I don't know why it goes red in some spots, not the others. There we go. Should be where it should be. And this just actually lets me put it where it should go right around here should be right around there it's actually too far over now I'm about to just give up on trying to make this centered too hard to actually like center it perfectly now I'm just kind of focusing on getting them aligned properly I think that's it Turn this off so this stuff's highlighting them. See, it's there. Seems pretty damn good placed. I don't know how straight it is. See if I can move the right one back like a centimeter. So apparently, that's the most I can do it, whatever. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and move this out the way. So I don't really want that right in the face of that.
bear with me. Apparently I have my mic muted there. Or possibly for a while I have my mic muted or mic muted. First I was just kinda aligning the beds just to get them aligned properly against the window. It took a little bit because uh, I was trying to make it perfect, which isn't going to happen. Then I chose to put that there because I didn't want to block the view from here or here outside, whereas there you just see the deck. So, that didn't go through on the stream, my bad. I was talking all about it and apparently didn't even realize. Right now I'm just trying to find something that looks nice, that'll fit the room. But it's turning out to probably be one of those here. And there's this, this, and this. This, I don't know, it just doesn't go well with me. This, I don't think I'm going to go with this. Because there's also this. We're going to place them down real quick and kind of just get a taste for what each of them look like. So as for end tables, I'm going to have to go with whatever matches this, to be honest. I think the darker one, just for... I mean, none of them really match it. I think I'm just going to go with the darker one. I just like the way it looks better. Table doesn't go, and this looks like a little shithole. End table. Not shithole, but you, you get the idea. game would actually let me place it against the wall would be nice. Gonna need one more of those. As mentioned, I'm trying to minimize the impact on my view from the windows. The whole point of the glass house is that view outside at all times. Alrighties. So I got my end tables, got my dresser against the window so it uh keeps that going. So I was going to put this in here. I'm honestly about to put it like right here. What's the view like out here? Eh, it's okay. Just trying to like uh, make sense of this. I don't even know if this should be on this floor to be honest. We're going to store it for right now. Just so I can see what I'm working with. It's a pretty empty bedroom. It's gonna need lights for sure. Uh, so I'll have to deal with that. I'm trying to think of what else you could put in here. Also you could put in like a bathroom or something over here. Seems like it's tilted for some reason. Let's go ahead and just scroll through. See my available options. I'll just like put in a little bathroom over here or something. Just to fill in some space. Apparently we can do all this stuff. What the hell's that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, so like watch television in bed. It's the radiation king. It's like alright, Piper, move. Got my TV for my bed. I'm gonna need to just put up a power source at this point. And probably something not too weak. Uh. Figure. Which side do I want to put the generators on? I have this view over here. Back here I have this. I was gonna put the bathroom back here. Maybe I'll install the bathroom real quick.
apparently these are decorations in the wrong spot. But maybe they have something here for my room. Up here. I can get a jukebox. I need to go back into here where I was initially. I'm just gonna go forward. There was like some stuff that didn't look like it was horribly beat down. What's that? Water fountain? Just trying to make sure there's nothing else. So apparently I can just like place that. Can I put it here? It would have been perfect if it would like go against this. What the fuck? Who the hell wants it up there? Uh, so. I'm about to do something real quick. Oops. I don't know if it'll let me do it. But we're gonna try and mess with this real quick. We gotta go all the way over to snap and build. Uh. I mean, I wanted some privacy. What the hell's the difference between these? I was hoping it would kind of just be able to fit here. Because then, you know, I could have kind of had a wall. Oh, let me put these. But it won't let me put a doorway. Apparently it won't let me just put it anywhere. That's not working as I was hoping. I was kind of hoping I could put in a door. I mean, it could be one of these, but I don't know why I can't put that then. So right now I'm just kind of trying to figure out. Oh my god, never mind. It's apparently snapping now that I like left it and came back in. That's perfect. Not somewhat like you have some privacy in the bathroom. I can work with the size now to put a door on this bitch. It'd be nice if they'd actually try and give you like a decent looking door here. But they never do. <laughs> Not much privacy in here. <laughs> and people want to use the buttons on the elevator, they're looking right in. Oh well. I wonder if I can actually put like a wall there. Just bear with me here. Just for the hell of it, if I can put like a wall there, it'd be awesome. Let me do anything. I think I'm too close for it to want to do anything to work with me. Let's like open the door and see if we can do it from out here. Let's see what happens. So it doesn't seem like it wants to go on the inside. So it does want to block that, but it does not want to go here. I'm trying to actually put it. Don't think anything wants to snap there. I think I'm out of luck for that. Oh well. Go ahead and work with this now.
bear with me, I gotta get back to the stuff I was intending to use. Seems like there's only one tub. So I'll probably have to go the route of using that tub. Guess we're just gonna apparently gonna have the sink on the window. So I don't have any better ideas for this. I'm trying to get it to go like as low as possible. It makes absolutely no sense to be on the window like this, but is it like tilted? What the hell? Maybe I can put it somewhere else. Kinda just looks like it's fr uh, floating pretty much. I'm gonna go ahead and store it and install the bathtub first. I guess because it's fallout it's not gonna turn out the way I would prefer it to. I'm trying to work with it. I should stop closing this damn door. Too tight of a spot to uh play stuff. It's so hard to like, move it just a tiny bit with this controller. I think that's good enough. Fortunately, I think I'm going to have to close the door though to work with the rest of what I'm trying to do. Now that we got that in here, let's see if I can actually fit a TV in here. Just for the hell of it. Let's find that TV. Nice one. Well, let me put it over there. Not enough space. I guess you would want it over here. So you know, you're gonna be with your back on this side. Kinda figured you have the view outside. I'm crazy like this. I'd install a TV in my house if I could like that. So it'd be pretty awesome. I don't think it'll let me push it any further back to the wall. So I guess we're gonna have to just work with it. Good enough. Now I can get back to what the other stuff we needed in here. looking right now it's gonna be kind of tight in here but whatever oh so let's see how this looks you walk in you got the sink there toilet there that there kind of looks like it's not too uh, roomy in here but I think it'll do back here would suck though. So maybe I'll consider moving the sink over a little bit. Alright, who's opening the door? Come on, Piper. Seriously? You can't take a shit. It's like you can already see and you don't gotta open the door. Damn, Piper. I'll actually be able to like, get my character back here. Cause in real life, you would need to get back there. Although for looks it's not even. It's like right there would be even, but I don't think Piper, I mean my character can fit now. Or Piper, you don't need to open the door and stand there. I'm just gonna call that room done. Hey. So we got the bedroom over here. 
bathroom over there. Definitely gonna need some power in here. I'm gonna just install a bunch of ceiling lights and do my best to make them powered. Just gonna peek through here, see what else we have as options. I'm not sure how they work, but they may be the most optimal thing for my house. We're going to have to like power it up and see what happens. See if this is what I want to use. I want to make the house completely lit up on every floor in the same way. It might take a little bit because just placing them evenly is a pain, but... Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and get some energy in the air green power. So we will need, pretty sure we need a power pylon, I want switched power pylons because it just makes more sense, so I can turn them on and off if I need to. Confused. Trying to make sure and see what I have. What is this power counter? Firing target toggle. It's the biggest I can probably go here. One of these needs one. So I may as well just put a big ass generator in here if I can. Don't think it's gonna work. We're gonna probably have to do this again where I f somehow squeeze two of these in the corner here. Somehow by miracle will fit on the other floor. Maybe it'll work here, maybe it won't. Now we're gonna need to fiddle with this, see what we can do. Come on, you can fit. You could fit. So it really doesn't want to fit. Two. Went green for a second there. Not sure where that was. Definitely too far out for me right here. So we're going to figure this out. It worked before, I'm not sure why I'm having trouble this time. Getting in the fit in here. So on the floor above it fit. I'm going to go see if there's any difference. So as you can see they did fit. They're like right up on each other. Might have hit the wrong button, just gonna hop off in the event. Yeah, there it goes, bye bye. Uh, let's see what I can do. Let's go ahead and move this. Now we're gonna go ahead and do anything we can to get that in a corner. Worst case scenario, I can always run smaller units. But I'm gonna try to fit everything here if I can. Got my damn hand falling asleep right now because I was uh, leaning. On my thigh. Damn hand falling asleep while I'm trying to play Fallout. So there we go, I was able to fit them both. Just gonna leave it. Uh, so now we got this. Let's go ahead and put it back. Put it right on the corner there. Gotta turn this way a little bit. Come on, 
Don't turn too much. Uh, now we got connected to that. I'm not sure how this will work from here. There we go. And if I want to turn my power on and off. Let's go ahead and put up a bunch of these. I may have to add some more of those in the room. If I do want to power a lot of lights. Kind of light the place up pretty well. I think I want to move them a little bit, put them like in the middle so I can match the rest of the room. Placing them around where the middle is of the... No, 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 don't touch the floor, please. So the last thing I want to do is mess with the floor. Uh, looks good enough, but I can't get it to center. Wish I had a button where it would just center items. So now we're going to go ahead. Seems like it... Let's see what the that zone is. It seems like it goes like a block and a half. It's not even centered right. You gotta go from this angle to actually get this right. Now that's centered pretty much. Let's see how it is. See, I, I don't know what it is doing. It, it's like sticking it up on the floor above when I'm simply just trying to... Good enough. So it almost covers a whole block beyond it. So you skip this and you put it like right there. Uh, not sure why it's not placing it. Oh, uh, well that's why. So what like I was saying, it should go... Place with the block next to it. So let's go somewhere like right here gonna plop it. It lit up, so perfect. Now I just gotta kinda center it using my multi-method here. Centering it this way and then centering it this way. If the game wouldn't stop putting it through the damn ceiling, it would be a lot better off. But fallout problems. Uh, oh my god, fallout. Did it put it uneven again? No, I think it's okay, but it's making the shit look weird. It's like the ground's having a heart attack. Uh. Maybe there was two floors there, and that was why it was glitching. I'm not too sure. That was weird and shit. Seems to be done glitching now. Seems like it might be better to move it up to, like, here. And just pop another one back here. Which apparently is too far. To get the signal. Just bear with me, this is a bit painful to do. Didn't realize that it didn't make the system that great. As you can see, it's like vanishing. It's like right at the limit. I do want it to be a bit further, so I may move the power conduit or add another one. So I do want it to be centered, which is definitely not there. Shit. I need to go back a bit more. Tiny bit more. It's gonna probably go in the ceiling again, like usual. Good enough for now. But as you can see, it's not getting power. So. How am I doing in there? The hell do these do? This is a power pylon. So I'm not trying to connect the wires, I'm just trying. It also creates the other issue of uh, having more 
stuff around the room. Thinking I can just probably stick this somewhere, like in the corner. Then there's gonna be a wire though, all the way across. Ah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to think here. I'm not sure if there's like another way for me to get the power across the room. Uh, pretty sure power conduits aren't what I need. Because the pylon's what's powering my ceiling lights. And I'm trying to minimize, see those wires sticking out, I don't want those all over the damn room if I can avoid it. Might be better off just powering something else. Or just suffer it moving the light up to where it actually turns on. That's right there. I don't want to really move this. I'll try and move it out a little bit to match the corner of the floor. Come on, hit the corner of the floor. You're there. Probably not going to turn that on though. It is powering the bathroom though too. Also, we'll need a light. So let's go ahead and put a light in here too. place that in here. It's like not really a way to easily check if it's centered. I think it's close enough to being centered. Well I mean we can use that line right there to tell where it's at. So we kind of want to put that black circle over the line. I think that's the closest I'll get it to being actually aligned with the room good enough. Uh, this TV is also dead. It's like those already killed that entire corner of the room. Guess we're just gonna suck it up and add a power pylon with another switch. Of course, I'm in the wrong section. Let's find this power pylon with the switch. Here it is. I'm gonna see gonna just place it against the wall pretty much and then move it out and uh, see if the cable really ruins the room feel seems like right there it's kind of like not in the way of anything once you bring it over here though you can see it's uh, getting in the window so I think right here is perfect kind of keeps the wire out of the window plus I'm pretty sure that should turn that on So it's, I mean, it's decently lit in here. Possibly do the same as I did here along the rest. Didn't even realize there are squares like that. So let's go ahead and center these. Apparently it's not centered. Probably never going to be centered. I don't know why I keep trying. Uh, let's just see. So I got one there. So no other way to really do it. So I mean, technically, I could move this back. I'm about to try moving them onto these lines. Obviously not even at all for where I want it to be, but so move that back on the line, you move this on this line, move that on this line. Then they're pretty much actually even on the ceiling. Fallout problems. 
trying to place the damn light on the ceiling. And it's almost impossible to get it perfectly even where you want it to go. As you can tell, it, like what the hell game? Why does it look different from different angles? I'm getting confused. Uh, so that's there. Let's move that down to right here. I think that's straight. Let's see, we got this one. Bear with me, it's so hard to like, do this. I can actually get it the way you want it to be. Oh my god, I had it right there and I fucking hit the wrong button. Fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. <laughs> Just kidding, but this is a little bit annoying. Whatever, good enough. Uh, I think I'm about to add more lights because the room is only lit up on the side, or in the middle as you can see. Hopefully I won't need another conduit. makes no sense because why what what is going on I swear I had it centered and it just like doesn't end up where I put it having a mouse or something would make this process that much better because it's fucking terrible to do it like this I'm just getting like annoyed here Cause I'm, I swear I'm placing it correctly and then I'll move to another part of the room and it's like changing how it looks. Like what the fuck? From that angle it looks like it's not there but from here you can see it's blatantly like going over the line. So there is something going on here. It's like playing I mind tricks on me. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking terrible. This is not enjoyable to put these lights up at all. All I want them to do is actually be close to where they should be. As you can see, the one side's close. Then it's like, oh, we're just gonna bring it below the floor. Whatever, fuck this. Uh, close enough. We're gonna call it good enough. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the lighting in. It's gonna use the same type of lights. And do my best to align them. Alright, am I not allowed to place more? I'm kind of confused. It's not letting me place any more lights. Did I hit like a limit? So as you can see, I have tons of shit. What the hell is the game doing? Nothing more can be built? Are they joking? Did I like hit a building limit? Well, let's see if I can build other things. Maybe I ran out of, like, power? Or did I run out of spots for everything? Alright, apparently I've, like, hit my limit with what can be built, and I'm only done this floor. Uh, that makes absolutely no sense. That's kind of sad. I'm really hoping I didn't hit a limit, because I still have two whole fucking... Uh, stories of my house to work on. So here we go. This is gonna be my master bedroom. We got the bathroom here, TV, tub, the set. Yeah, that makes no sense, but I don't care. Got this. Got hit this over here. Those lights are here for now. We got a TV. Makes no sense. Why the hell can't I build anything else? WTF. I'm about to go, like, destroy shit in the other houses in the area and see if it allows me to have more space. Up here is done, but absolutely needs lights. 
But I'm gonna be shit out of luck if, uh... Is that somebody in my house? What are you doing in my house, dude? Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Get out of my house. You fucking dick. Serious, I'm tired of this fucking dude. It's time for you to rest in peace, you fucking douche. Seriously, what the fuck is he doing in my house all the time? It's getting fucking annoying, Fallout. I build a house, and then of course he's like in my attic. So I'll, I'll just mini nuke everyone in my area here if I have to. So I might be able to just go up on the third and sleep. To see uh, if he goes away. Because otherwise he's going to attack me if I go back up there. Oh, well, I guess we're going back up there. just gonna be effing me over first off with the fact that apparently I'm like out of space to build and stuff which makes no sense kind of ruining my entire build here if I can't fill the rest in we're gonna go ahead and sleep for 24 hours because then McCready probably won't attack me so we'll be good to go of course it's a uh, I already hit okay it's gonna take forever to like sleep for one hour in time So apparently the game's just being fucking terrible. I'm gonna click the dashboard button to see if that helps it at all. Wakey, wakey, Slept two hours. Still showing the enemy now. And of course. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, leave the area. We're gonna go sleep. Somewhere else right now. Right, come on game, what are you doing? Go to Red Rock, or Red Rocket. So here we are, Red Rocket. My other town, where I got the 100% benevolent leader achievement. They're not really happy anymore since I don't come by anymore. But who gives a shit? We're gonna go ahead and sleep here. Cause uh, if we sleep enough, McCready should leave me alone when I go home. If not, this really just sucks. Also, googling what's up with this nothing more can be built thing. I wanted to make a crazy ass thing, but apparently, uh, I hit a cap. Apparently there is a mod that I could possibly get where uh, unlimited settlement objects. We're going to go ahead and look that up because that will resolve my problem. 
First, we're going to sleep again, though. I just want to guarantee that he's not attacking me when I go back to my house. watching make sure you like and sub it's uh, like frozen now or something there we go Piper's like getting out of the bed the wrong side so there's the roof of my house apparently just floating no my house it's gone there it is I'm just going to go ahead and do this because I'm going to go ahead and try and get this mod so I can uh, go for unlimited stuff in my house. I'm going to check where I saved it. Yeah, it was right here. So I think I'm going to have to go to the main menu to add a new mod. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this mod, I was looking it up. Let's see if I can search for it. It might actually cause the game to crash, which means I should probably just go steal, take all the crap out of everybody else's house. There should be an unlimited build, so that's what we're looking for. Uh, I don't think they have it, so apparently we were... Uh, the fuck? Whatever, we're just gonna go ahead and load this one. The beautiful two headed rag stag. Rad stag, not rag stag. It might as well be a rag stag. So my plan was to finish my house, check out that one quest I have that I got through a mod. Uh, I haven't obtained it yet, but I think I just go to Concord and I'll get it somehow. And pretty much make a few massacre videos, like release death claws and mini nukes in all the little towns like Diamond City and Nuka World. I think I'll do the open season quest. Uh, kind of just take down the raiders. I have no reason to care about them. And I'm not going to build up a settlement for them. So, let's take them down. If I hit a build limit though, that pretty much screws my build video. So this is where it'll be cut off. It's a pretty cool house as is. I'm not going to rip any of my shit down to make it happen. I'd much rather uh, go into all these other houses surrounding my house and remove their shit so the build count goes down let's go ahead and do that we're gonna go ahead and go in here it's like F your house it's because of you guys I can't have anything in my house like, I need quite a few more things I don't know. If somebody's gonna live here, I'll leave one dresser. I don't wanna ruin the whole house. Kinda already ruined the front end. I mean this room's stupid, but whatever. It doesn't not like it matters. Not like I'm ever gonna come back to this house. 
so I don't really give a shit about it. I'm just gonna leave the bed because uh, there's not enough beds in my town already. So there are 11 people and 8 beds. Somehow they're happy with that, but makes no sense. Gonna go ahead and see uh, what's going on here. We got one bed. Just kind of getting rid of everything that's excess. Contents transferred to workbench, apparently. It's like they don't use this stuff anyway, it's all broken if you really think about it. Cleared out all these, I'm gonna clear this house out and then we'll see if we can work on my house without worrying about this. I'm sure I took that bolt, dog ball over to my dog spot. Talking about that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the damn yard where dog meat is. So maybe he'll actually move to his new dog house. Just bear with me. Just getting rid of everything that doesn't need to be here. It's like you will no longer be able to not take shits in your house. I don't know why you'd want to poop in there anyway, it's right in your fucking head. Kiri, get out the way. Overweight because I forgot to put my clothes away. Just bear with me, we're going to do my best to get over to my house and uh, go back upstairs to keep working on it. I think I'll go ahead and start furnishing rather than putting lights. I think it makes more sense. Cause I ran out of light space. I'll put like three lights per floor. Should be good enough. I don't think he's still in my house, that McCree guy, but he might be. Not on this floor. Just wanna take a peek if he's up here. Shouldn't be, but he probably is. Nah, see he isn't here. Where the hell did he go? Oh well, I guess we're gonna just move on. Going back to the bedroom. I think the bedroom's good enough. Not really much else to put in here. I was just going to put lights to make it a little bit better. But I'm having double feelings on that simply because uh, I'll be wasting my space. So I'll have to go pretty much empty out a bunch more homes to put all the lights I want to put in this building. It might not be worth it. Maybe worth it just leaving the sides dark. It's not the end of the world. Well, it technically is, because it's... <laughs> pretty much is the end of the world, to be honest, but you get the idea. You're still alive. Living the fallout. I'm trying to get the menu back up, but uh, I think it's being stupid. Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is put lights on the damn floor. This way, uh, at least I'll have lights. The rest we can figure out as I go. If I have to, I'll go out and clear a few more houses of stuff to make my house better. So we do want this. Uh, can't really see at all. But apparently it's powered by upstairs. Apparently we would only need two of them per floor, I think. We don't need three. So we may be able to actually ditch one. Possibly maybe if I move this one back here. Move this one like right there. So that'll absolutely help. I mean, never mind, it's not covering enough. Put it there, it's not too bad, but uh, just gonna go ahead and put it here. If you're watching, make sure you like and sub, be greatly appreciated. Uh, 
Right now I'm just trying to match what I had upstairs. I kind of forget what it was. But definitely going to want three lights per floor. Don't know. I think I was putting them in the middle of these again. So something like that. Then like right here. Then uh, I think it was right in this little box. Kind of annoying how this system works, but we're just going to suck it up. Look, it looks like it was centered on the other side. Of course, from this angle, it looks like it wasn't even done right at all. Good enough, and... Well, that one's definitely not centered. Good enough. Alrighty. I've got like two more stories to do that on, so I may run out of space again. I want to do it on this floor and the one above it, as well as the first. Seems like I may be able to get away with uh, upping the power on some floors, and then the other floors won't need any power on them. Could also probably just add conduits and such. So up here, I'm going to just go back out here. Somewhere like this. Then I think like right here. And the last one would go somewhere like right there. Of course the last one isn't getting power. I don't know if that's because I don't have enough power in the building. Apparently I'm horribly off on where that should be. Hope that's better. It's a little bit better. You can't really judge it from there and you know they don't let you walk underneath it which makes no sense. I, you know, I can't tell from there how centered it is good enough. Like, that's not centered at all, but it looks centered from over here somehow. Perspective, obviously, but Fallout doesn't give you amazing perspective for building. Can't really tell where the hell it's at. I'm just gonna keep moving. Should be closer to center. Now I just gotta actually center the damn thing. Just bear with me. Doing my best to actually make my place decent looking, not a shithole. This guy is obviously not getting the juice he needs. Uh, so I'm debating, let's see. These are producing five each. So they definitely can power a conduit. AKA. One of these. So to get up there. I'm trying to think, I don't want to run wire. Well actually I can probably put it over here somewhere. I'll fit it back there. So I may actually be able to like sneak it in somewhere stupid like back behind here so you don't see it. Just bear with me. Now that it's there what I'm going to do is attach a wire from there straight to there. And voila. Good enough as mentioned can't really see all my stuff but close enough during the day is optimal time to be in here obviously actually it's kind of like daytime oh never mind there's the moon so yeah i mean these suits aren't that great anyway who the fuck cares to see these these are my more prized possessions in here let's go ahead and head upstairs seems like this may be a bit more difficult to light up than the other floors and I'm starting to feel like we're going to start running low on spots again. Uh, so after this, I'm going to go down and start working on the kitchen and the living room. And from there, hopefully I'll be able to actually complete the house the way I want. So here we go. We're going to have a problem with this floor. It's like it doesn't allow me to place ceiling lights at all. 
So, we will need an entirely different plan for this floor. Houston, we have a problem. We're going to need to come up with alternative lights in this damn room somehow. Like, these aren't even willing to go up at all. I don't really want to use lamps. I mean, that's way too big. <laughs> Construction lights. Hmm. These might not be a bad decision. What I could do is move this, like right here or something. Of course it doesn't want to go there. I'm trying to see where I could fit these. I'm going to guess I'm going to need to power all these. So it's probably not the best idea to put all these here. Oops. Blocking windows. Initially something I did not want to do. Let's just fit back here in the corner. Oops, my mic actually decided to move a little bit. I don't know if that'll like block the lights or how it'll work. We're just gonna try it anyway. See what happens with the lights in these wall spots. Simply because I don't want them to be blocking my window views. Now we gotta go back to power. Switch power pylons, what we're gonna need. See if I can fit it like right in here or something. So, this kind of sucks because, let me see. I have power on this floor, but there's no way in hell I can run it upstairs, and I obviously did not plan to. How much does this need each? One each. So that means I'm going to have to install a generator now on this floor. I'm kind of confused. It's requiring one red. So I'm guessing I need raw power on those, which probably wasn't the best decision on my half. We're going to go ahead and scrap them. Just bear with me. Are they all the same, or... So I just want to make sure uh, that this could be powered by a conduit. I may be an idiot and have completely did that for no reason. I think that might be the case, actually. So for some reason I thought I may need a different power source, but I may be able to actually... So why the hell do some of them have a 1 and some don't? Kind of confusing. None of these want to work though either. So it's leaving me no option but to want to install one of these. And uh, the thing about it, I actually have my box there. Will this fit? I don't think it's not gonna work. Oh, never mind. Uh, don't want more than a few lights up here. Oh, oh! Did not mean to do that. Switch power pylon. Gonna see if I can like somehow squeeze it back here. Also, let's go ahead and see. Right there. Uh, not really sure why the hell I just left workshop mode. So I'm in my house. Alright, there we go. So apparently, what the hell is it doing? It keeps leaving workshop mode. 
it's uh basically they don't want to connect maybe if I like turn it this way like come on game you gotta be joking me I can't even get this to work I think maybe because I'm walking on the stupid robot thing it keeps doing that because it's getting really annoying. It's going to say irritating then annoying at the same time so I got that weird start off there. Uh, seems like it may be better to just stick this somewhere like under the window. Then leave that back there and just uh, hurry up get out of. There we go. Okay, now I'm seeing what is happening. It's doing workshop auto exit. Do my best to avoid that from happening again. Apparently, like no matter what, it doesn't want to agree. I'm gonna turn it this way though, and try and put it like all the way back here. Actually, never mind. It doesn't even look. It, it looks better like this. We'll connect. Oh my God! It connected. Basically, taking up the spot where I wanted to put lights. So, that did not go as I planned, as expected. So that's probably not the light I'm going to use. I gotta find something that uses it. This type of power. Still having trouble finding something that actually lights up. Can I put lights along the wall down there? These are what I wanted to run in here, but... It's not agreeing with me at all. I guess we can see how this lights up, but I don't think this is what I want. I think I may be unfortunately stuck with dealing with uh, the option I initially had. Which means I don't really need that pylon. Then at this point, so that was a whole waste of time. To try and fit this back there again. So as you can see, seems like it's coming through. It's definitely hitting that, but uh, seems like it, the light's still going right through it. I was for a bit more light than that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to place one of those back here and connect it without adding another generator. There's no way in hell that's going to connect to that. place any of these so I can like try and move it around them doesn't seem like it so 
to so much for that side. We're just going to go ahead and pull that light out the corner. Call it a day, good enough. It's not the most lit up attic, but it'll do. So floor three, final peak. So make sure it looks all good. Got those. Got the power. We got a bathroom. This is where I was going to make my lounge. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually be able to do what I want to do or not. Going to go ahead and get a sofa ready. Cause this is where I'm going to put it. Actually, we're going to need to put a bunch of power shit in here too because I do want TVs and such. I think they were in here. Actually, they were, I think, under here. Televisions, yep. For some reason they're in here. So we're going to go ahead and check out all the available sofas and such. Sorry about all the movement, I'm just trying to like center my shit and such as mentioned before. So I'm taking a little bit more care towards how I do this. Just hoping these would all line right next to each other, but it might not work as planned. They're obviously not centered. If you're enjoying my stream slash video make sure you like and sub just uh, working on setting up my living room So, uh, I'm just trying to figure out where the hell the center of the room is. There's four wide. Right. Technically, this should be, like, in the middle of this. Could possibly just move these up to, like, here. Come on. The only thing I don't like about this is they don't like snap them or anything. You kind of just like got to pray you align it properly. So. Technically it would go somewhere like that. I would think. We'll put it towards the middle. Gonna go ahead. Let's see. I wanted this in the middle there, but there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to fit that in that. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the middle here. Now we're going to go back to what initially I wanted to do. Let's get some end tables. for that sofa. I 
I've got my lounge, with the TV. Gonna need to get power to that apparently. So trying to think. Let's go down here real quick. Here's the first floor. I wonder if I put a power pylon for that and just upgrade that to a larger thing. If I could probably... That's probably not the best idea. I have this over here. That's only the power of this. I've kept it set, uh, different on all the other floors. We're seeing the first floor, I'm just going to add a power pylon right here. How much does this use? Five, and this is a five, so... We are going to have to do what we did on the other floors and try and just merge two of them in here. In that little spot. To optimize my power in this room. This will be my kitchen. So we're going to... Oops. I'm going to go ahead and... Attach the wire. Now we're going to go ahead and put a power pylon. So we want a uh, switched power pylon. I like to have control about over my house lights in all ways. And yeah, to be honest, fuck it, let's do this. Those are connected. Now what we'll do is go to this. And we'll go from this to that. This way I can actually shut my elevator off too. Never will, but simplifies the wiring. Uh, let's go ahead and get all this shit out of my inventory. I forgot I'm still overweight from too much clothing. My house is turning out pretty decent. As you can tell, there's a shit ton of crap I had to put away. I think this room's done though. I have nothing else to do on this floor. What the hell, is the door not big enough for the doorway? I'm kinda confused right now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Apparently the door wasn't centered. Uh, what floor are we on? The third. Pop up on the fourth again real quick. Apparently Piper's up here. This floor looks all good. I mean, nothing else to do here. Got my weapons. It's kind of like my museum floor. Let's check the workshop brightness. See, Those lights don't really do jack shit, but, uh... Don't really have any ideas. Could put another generator in here. I just feel like I'm taking up space. So, back to this floor. I mean, the lights are powered, but the TV's not. So I'm going to run a, another one of those systems. Where I run a power pylon down the wall. It's going to be on this side, simply because if you put it back here. We're going to have this. You only have a half wide, whereas here you have a double wide for hiding it in the windows. My view here isn't that great anyway from these windows, so I'm not too concerned. I'm going to try and do my usual double power system here of two fives because I can't fit anything else. This might uh, take a bit as usual to get them to fit the way I want to. But I've done it on all the other floors so it'll work. Just bear with me while I try and make the game. Let me place this here.
So I'm just trying to like ease it in here. Oh, 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 come on. It was triggering. Green, you guys saw that. Come on, the sweet spot, it was right there. Come on. Oh my, wow, I keep missing it. I'm just gonna keep tapping A until it uh, places it. So, finally got it. Gonna do the same thing I did here as upstairs I'm gonna run it to a powered one of these put it like right here actually I think it has to go like right here to avoid the window issue the so wire the cables also a concern the further you go the more that's gonna hang down in the windows I figured the TV would turn on could place it there but as you can see the cable goes in the window but that may actually be wow <laughs> so apparently I'm not close enough with this power conduit from there uh, I think I got an idea for this we're gonna leave that there, we're gonna take down the wire. What we're gonna do, stick this like up here. Seems to work good. Alrighties. So, better than expected, and I was able to kind of keep the wire out the windows. I'm gonna go ahead and do actually do this. Just got an idea. Yeah. Let's make it, let's make it look that much more clear. That much less, uh... There we go. So now it's not like sticking out as much from the wall, because initially it had to come from there all the way out there. It's a little bit better. Uh, not sure. I don't think there's anything else for me to do on this floor. I think it looks perfect. All is good here. Only thing I may do is try and fix the floor. Apparently, that this one is like off horribly. Something's going on here. Oh! <laughs> I picked up the floor while I was on it. Bad idea. So, yeah, here. Haven't finished my first floor yet. My plan here is to build some insane kitchen in here. Uh, along this back corner here Not sure what I'll do over here. Maybe put like a little lo computer area or something Should I'll save the computer area for the next floor up Floor two See got my pool table got my lounge got my power on Pretty sure Somewhere they had computers. Maybe it was in power, actually. So up here, they have computers. Go ahead and see. I 
thought they had more computer options, but apparently they don't. Definitely don't want an ugly looking computer. So I don't want that terminal. So I don't have a normal computer and not one of these things. I guess I'll install them all. Makes no sense that like the one terminal's running. Does it even need power? Or does it just run? I'm trying to like get them to go together here. But I don't think I can get them to go any closer. Like on the actual physical line. Got that one to go. This one doesn't want to though. There. As you can see though, they're like not agreeing to go where they where I want them to go. Let's try placing them along this line here, maybe. Those are kind of like good there, I guess. They're not really in the elevator. I'm trying to like make this straight. There you go. Kind of confused. I kind of think I just turned it on by connecting it to the elevator or something. Like what? Is that now connected to the elevator or? Let's go downstairs. Like is there a wire running upstairs now or? This is strange. So something's going on. Maybe this one absorbs power. They're all running though. At least I think they're. See, we got that running, we got that running, we got that running. That one's like sparking. Hopefully it's not breaking. I'm gonna go ahead and install some furniture over here. To finish the look. Uh, gonna need like a desk. Tch. Apparently, I think I just hit the limit for building again because it's not letting me look at anything. So bear with me. Got like another 20 minutes left in the stream. If you're enjoying, make sure you like and sub. We're gonna go ahead and empty out some more houses around here because I don't care how the people live. I'm more concerned that my house gets the furniture it needs and uh. I need to put in an entire kitchen, a desk, a chair, stuff like that, so I need a lot of space. So we're going to get rid of everything we can that's not a bed. I would take this down, but it's kind of like my manufacturing facility. And uh, as you can see, it's full of shit, and I'm not trying to deal with that right now. Uh, this is my old house. guess it's time to load up. They don't need it. You guys don't need all this crap. FEO table. 
I don't care if you're happy. Get out of here. Oh shit. He's like, you pick up in my chair. I kill you. So jeez, dude, calm down. All I did was pick up your chair. And pretty much remove your entire power system. Gonna go ahead and remove every single item in this house. Again, this is the house that I used for the entire playthrough. Over 150 hours were spent using this as my home. For some reason, I decided to build my own house after I completed the game. But I also had to use mods, which would have ruined my 1600 gamer score in this, because I would have never gotten it if I used mods in the first place. So, you're kind of just getting me, you're watching me finish out the game. Uh, I did plan to stop playing this at some point can't lie been playing it for a long time I'm getting ready to start Mafia 3 starting Friday stuff like that but uh, still want to finish this house I still want to make a few massacre videos probably do the quest open season as well as the quest on the murder mystery dude uh, apparently the dogs just chilling here it's like what if I open the fence for you are you gonna leave well, who cares? We're gonna go ahead and go next door. Continue emptying out these homes. So I can have more furniture at my house. Do, 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 do. Emptying shit out. What the hell's that? Alrighty, so next one, I'm probably just going to go ahead and clear out all these houses because I'm not trying to have to come do this again. Uh, I want to finish that little computer room I was doing there. I might even put in a wall for it. I guess I won't, but I might. Small chance I'll do what I did with the bathroom, but it'll be a computer room. Just to give it more of a feel for a room than just open home. I don't have a studio home, that's not my goal. What else? Then there's a kitchen on the first. The kitchen, I'm going to go for a full out kitchen. They have all the stuff, refrigerators, Nuka, fridges. So I'm going to try and install like everything, make it a legit house. I think I'm done here. Let's go ahead and move next door. They're going to do this here, the house over there, and on the way back we're going to hit that house. To be honest, I don't care if this affects happiness of the town, because I'm, as mentioned, pretty much done playing the game. Other than another stream or two or three, however long it takes to do what I mentioned I want to do. If you enjoy my Fallout streams, I have like 59 other ones up, and uh, we're going to have well over 200 Fallout 4 videos prepped for the channel over the next few months, so uh, make sure you check in for that. Like and sub, and you'll get notifications for it. This house is a fucking mess. It's like guns on the shower floor. Take the steel and the screw because I don't need it. Apparently I missed that stool. I think I did enough. I don't feel like clearing out more houses. It's just boring taking up my time. You can see my house is enormous over there. Let's go ahead and get back to it. So this is an emergency. I mean, I keep running out of space. We gotta let everyone know. So the whole village will come to me now. It's like, it's alright guys. I think we're going to have enough space for my furniture now, Codsworth. <laughs> Everyone's like running up the street now. <laughs> Just go inside. Peace. Alrighty, so... Whatever. 
I did not want to do that though, because apparently it's transferring all my contents to the workbench, whatever. It's not junk, so basically I'll go to the workbench and anything that's not junk will be that. We're going to go ahead and pick these up, my robot collection. I completely forgot about them. Uh, what to do with my robot collection? There isn't really anywhere on this... Uh, let's go ahead and finish my little room here first off. We're going to need an actual wall. Let's put a doorway of marble. I worked on the other floor, so I'm kind of hoping it'll... It did gl Come on, come on! Stick! Stick! It keeps popping up like it's going to grip, and then it like goes away. You guys, you guys can see that. It's like... Acting weird. It's like it doesn't want to go. Oh my god, it, of course it worked for a second. Alright, there we go. I tapped A and pretty much finally got it. I don't know if that's the way I want the door to open. So I'm trying to put a chair in there. <laughs> that doesn't seem like the most optimal way to go about getting in and out of the bathroom. So my goal is to get that to lock on that door. There we go. Should open. Oh my god, nope. It's opening in again. I mean, I guess there's somehow a little bit of room. I guess the chair doesn't need to be centered at the computer. It can be centered to the words the other computers. I'll try and fit a small ass chair in here real quick. Definitely not that. It's too big. Kind of want like a desk chair. It's gotta be nicer looking stuff than that. Shit's all like rotting looking. Here you go. This is the chair I want. I think I'll actually be able to just. Put it there and not worry about the door. Lastly, I wanted to put a desk. Oh my god! Uh. Alrighty, apparently I just like fell through that opening. I didn't even know you could do that. Let's go back up to the second. So to officially do this, I want a desk in this room if I can fit it. So we will find out. Let's find the desk first. Do 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 do. Here we go. We got a desk. That's one type of desk. That's the other one. Let's see if there's any other note. There's only apparently two types of desks. colors is this? It's kind of like blue versus wood. I gotta say, I like the wood look better. I'm gonna try not to like fall through the ground again. Alrighty, so the desk isn't straight, but at least it fits. So now the goal is to put that in. I'm not sure how this works. Apparently I can put on the extension. Oh my god, I almost fell to my death or something. Alrighty, that's the desk. It's not too bad. I know it would be really stupid to do, but I'm about to just see if I can f they have a computer without a desk uh, let's go to furniture should have a TV I could put on there 
that will pretty much cover up this room. Just gotta try and like make sure I don't fall. All the things there now, so. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be that lucky though. It doesn't seem like it wants to place it there. Oh well. I think this room turned out good enough. You got a desk, you got a chair on the computer, you got these two. Kind of looks, somehow it's all powered by something, I don't know how. I guess I got enough wireless power in the building that maybe that picked up wireless power and transferred it or something. I have no clue. Either way, I want to do a quick walkthrough just to uh, check what's up. So here we go, going up in the attic, final check of the attic, put some stuff up here, got a flamer and the junk jet, my weapons, got all these workbenches, moved my armor there, if uh, you didn't see that earlier in my video or stream, I added these lights, because it wouldn't let me put anything on the ceiling or walls up in here, which is pretty stupid, but uh, I was able to power that and the one that's hidden back there. They both do light up the room somewhat, not enough, but I'll accept it. I think this room's good, I mean, not much else I could do here. On this floor, it's perfect in my eyes, I mean, I got my power armor a lot, got my armor. And uh, it's simple, not a bunch of shit in the middle of the room. I did want to put some stuff on the decks, but we'll find it, figure that out later. I'd rather uh, put the kitchen together before wasting furniture on my deck. Go to three, check out my bedroom. Same setup of power, getting transferred around the room. Here, put a TV at the bed. That it's kind of a horrible spot to sleep because the sun is apparently like right on your head. But oh well, it's fallout. Let's go ahead, second floor, here we come. As mentioned, just doing a final walk around on these floors. I think this room's perfect. Got my uh, lounge, got my pool table, we got like a little office back here kind of thing going on. Now that we come down two stories, I mean the deck view is definitely dramatically different. You may not think so, but just looking out there you can blatantly see that we used to be able to see over the tree line, now we're in the tree line. Apparently my deck's fucked up here. Uh, just bear with me a second, let's see if I can move that or not, if not oh well. Well, apparently I fixed it. Thought about building something over on that lot for no reason, but uh... It's kind of just pointless to build something, especially if uh, I'm already running low on space to build. As in the game is not going to let me put any more items in the game as I'm hitting the limit. So we'll be uh, lucky to actually be able to build a full kitchen. I think I'm going to go ahead and dive into that right now on this stream. I was planning to take a break soon. I'm going to go ahead and, uh... What the fuck? Oh, it's Piper. <laughs> I thought the door just opened for no reason. I was like, what the hell? Who's coming in? It's a deck. And I know it should be coming in from there. So they have kitchen stuff, I do believe. I don't know why the hell I would need a cigarette machine. Bear with me. Just seeing what's available. Making a nice yawn. I swore they had kitchen stuff somewhere. This is Nuka World stuff. Oh my god, we can put Nuka Kate in my house? Why the hell would we put that in the house? I didn't know they added all this crap. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have to put a bear statue in my house. Yes. <laughs> you like walk in the front door and there's a fucking bear. He's like, raw. <laughs> That's <is> awesome. <laughs> Did not expect to have that in my house. 
I think that's all we're gonna do though, cause that's a lot of space taken up. Oh my god, they got the globe. Oh dude, they got the cappy dude. I don't want to get too carried away because, uh, as mentioned, I do want to actually put in a kitchen. The only issue with this is where the hell am I going to get the kitchen materials? I don't think I saw them in here. I may be wrong. And yeah, there's a counter. So there is a counter. What else is here, though? That is thine question. Like a bunch of crap I don't really want. So we're running into a problem here of trying to figure out. I mean, yeah, I need a kitchen table, but it's like, where the hell's the refrigerators and all that crap, can you? I'm pretty sure they don't have them in here. I can make a fake call at Fallout Kitchen, probably using like a cooler. It doesn't seem like they actually have a real refrigerator for me to use. Not cool, not cool. Figure they would have something a little bit better going on. But none of this either is for this. So we're going to go ahead and take a break here because uh, I need to do a little research and see if I can find kitchen items. And if not, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to be using. Uh, my plan is to finish this first floor with a kitchen and dining area and such. From there, I'll probably decorate the decks a bit, maybe on some of them put like a table with chairs or like some lounging things like you would lay out in the sun. Because I mean, I'm a woman, so I gotta get my suntan on. Piper too. See, Piper's already ready to go in her grown yak outfit. She needs a tan. She's like tanning in these lights right here. That's why she was running around out here. She's like, hurry up, put it out the deck. I'm like, shut up, bitch. She slammed the door. Uh, the only other thing I actually can do is put up lights in this floor. So, just bear with me, I'm, I always say I'm going to end the stream and then I'm like, oh, I can just add these lights. So we're going to be ending the stream in a sec. We're going to have to continue this build video. This is going to be an obnoxiously long build video. This build video of this entire build is going to be like five hours long. I don't, I don't think anyone's going to actually watch it, but I'll go ahead and uh, put a whole video together on YouTube for it. Like built sanctuary build or something like that. The, I'll definitely make a walkthrough video of this house when I'm done without the build section so it only takes like five to ten minutes but you know I want to try and build a whole video of the entire build so I can just show the whole process where I started. This is the worst part trying to get these to uh, look it looks so much centered from here but there it's like not at all. Good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. It's close, but needs to go down a tiny bit more. And last one, it is not too far off. So we're just going to go ahead and move it ourselves to like right there. Good enough. Seems that these are all power too, so I'm not going to have to worry about powering this area right now. So that's going to end my current stream slash this uh, portion of the video. Make sure you like and sub for more content. We're going to go ahead and save right here. Again, thanks for watching. Be back in around uh, 30 minutes with more Fallout or Horizon 3. Not 100% sure yet, but thanks. Peace out.